A.T. Still University established the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health in 2013 to address oral health care in our state. And joining us is the Dean of A.T. Still University Missouri School of Dentistry, Dr. Dwight E. McLeod. Welcome, Dean McLeod, to STL Live. Nice to have you here. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for having me. So A.T. Still University, it's right here in St. Louis with a dental clinic not far from our studios and also a university uh, for students can become um, dentists, basically. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about it. Well, the building is located at 1500 Park Avenue, right by the Lafayette Square area. Mm -hmm. And it's a modern, contemporary, state-of-the-art building with over uh, 79,000 square feet of space. And this is a building where people can come and actually get dental care um, anybody in our community. Oh, exactly. Our okay. main focus is to serve the underserved. Okay. So anyone can actually uh, visit the dental clinic. Any income range from those that are well-to-do to the uh, very poor or underserved. So our main emphasis is to help bring dentistry to the public and to make it affordable and accessible. Okay, and, and the, when patients come in, people from our community, the dentists who are working with them are still in the clinical part of their training, is that correct? Exactly, okay. yeah. So we have year three and year four dental students at the clinic, and we have a unique partnership that is established with Affinia Healthcare. So AT Steel University provides the curriculum, which is very in, innovative and contemporary. Mm. So we have a strong emphasis on community service and public health, and along with providing exceptional care for our patients. So the D3 students or D4 students, they provide the care for those patients. And also our partner, which is Affinia Healthcare, they are responsible for running the clinic and making sure that we have a good patient flow and the staffing that we need to provide the excellent education that our students need. Yeah, okay, so um, how long does it take to get an appointment? <laughs> well, it depends. I think um, we have... It's hard to get it, an appointment it, for a dentist. That's correct. It's yeah. typically hard, mm -hmm. hard, but we try to accommodate our patients as best as possible. And depending on what the needs are, for example, we have the only urgent care center in, in, in the area. And so if you have a toothache or a problem, you can actually come and be seen right away. Interesting. Is it open every day or just? It's open five days per week. Okay, yes. five days per week for and urgent care for situation. Urgent care. So you can drop in, call ahead. Exactly, you can drop in and we'll make sure that we facilitate your needs. And down the road, perhaps we will have extended evening hours and maybe weekends. So that's something that we're looking into yeah. and hopefully we'll be able to provide. That's interesting, that's wonderful. So, okay, Thank so you. let's talk about the university and let's talk about the training of the students. We were talking about this um, before the interview yeah, sure. off camera and the number of years, not to scare any students off, but it's, it's a big commitment to become a dentist. And so by the time they're working uh, with mm -hmm. patients in the clinic on Park, um, they've been at it for a long time. Oh. So talk about the, the training to become a dentist. Exactly, yeah. So the dental field is very competitive. It requires four years of undergraduate uh, training to acquire a Bachelor of Science degree or an equivalent. Mm -hmm. And then there's an additional four years of dental training. Mm -hmm. And if one wants to specialize after graduating from dental school, the, the minimum training is two years. So a specialty might be what, for example? For example, periodontist, okay. who is a specialist in gum treatment, and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And there's oral surgery, which takes the longest, and that's an additional four years okay. of training. And sometimes there is even a combined program that adds another two years where that oral surgeon will earn an MD behind his or her name. Okay. So in A.T. Still University, mm -hmm. which was established in the 18... Hundreds. Yes. What was the year? 1892 <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> to be exact. Yes. Okay. So it's still, it's been training um, our dentists in the community for, uh, for a long time. Um, we're going to take a quick break um, and we're going to come back and talk more specifically about some of the things that are going on here in St. Louis uh, for the dental care uh, right here in our backyard. Oh, so, great. Well, thank you so okay, much. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we'll have more on ATSU, -T St. Louis uh, Dental Clinic after this. Stay with us.